Hello student. Today we are going to study about physical geography paper first that is GG101 physical geography lithosphere. Now we have to study unit second origin and distribution of continents and oceans. Continents and ocean basins being fundamental relief features of the globe are considered as relief features of the first order. Different views, concepts, hypotheses and theories regarding the origin and uh, origin of the contents and ocean basins have been put forth by scientists from time to time. The distribution of continents and ocean is not even on the surface of the earth. Characteristic features of distribution pattern and arrangement of continents and ocean basins. In the study of origin of continents and oceans, it is essential to know the characteristic features of the distributional pattern and arrangement of continents and oceans as seen at present. About 70.8% of the total surface area of the globe is represented by the oceans whereas remaining 29.2% is represented by the continent. Even the distribution of continents and oceans in both the hemisphere is not uniform. More than 75% of the total land area of the globe is situated to the north of the equator, while water bodies dominate in the southern hemisphere. And hence, north hemisphere is called land hemisphere and a southern hemisphere is called water hemisphere. Thus, the land hemisphere would represent about 83% of the total landmass area of the globe, while the water hemisphere would carry 90.6% of the total oceanic areas of the globe. The continents are arranged in roughly triangular shape. Most of the continents have their bases in the north while their apices are pointed towards south. Similarly, the oceans are also triangular in shape. The bases of the oceans are in the south while their apices are in the north. For the example, Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. The North Pole is surrounded by oceanic water, while South Pole is surrounded by land area, that is Antarctica continent. There is antipodal arrangement of the continents and uh, oceans. Then, origin of the continents and oceans. The bulk of the great land masses lies north of the equator and remain to the south. Different theories have been postulated to explain distribution and origin of continents and oceans. These theories are based on different views, views, 
to the contraction of the earth, splitting of the earth, drift of continent and a continental subsidence, etc. Theories regarding the present distribution of land and water. First theory is Wegener's Continental Drip Theory. In 1912, a German meteorologist and geophysicist Alfred Wegener put forward a continental drip theory. His theory is based on shapes of the continents and geological evidences. According to Wegener's view, the distribution of land and ocean is due to breaking up of original single land mass and drifting apart of its blocks. Wagner thought that nearly 150 million years ago, there was only one landmass which he called Pangaea. This landmass was floating on more denser basaltic rocks. Pangaea was surrounded on all sides by vast ocean which he called Panthalasa. In the initial stage, Pangaea was broken into two parts, northern continental block known as Laurasia and southern known as Gondwana land. These great land masses separated by a narrow east-west sea which Wagner called Sea of Tethys. Later, these blocks split up further into smaller fragments and they formed the present continent, North America, Asia and Europe were formed from Laurasia and South America, Africa, Peninsular India, Australia and Antarctica came into existence from Gondwana land. The continental blocks drifted along east-west directions and also wandered from the poles. The Gondwana land was lying near the south pole. Radial cracks developed in this continent and different fragmental blocks attained triangular shapes. Only Antarctica left the South Pole while the remaining drifted towards equator. Wagner thought that North and South America drifted towards westward from Europe and Africa. Africa and Australia was a continuous landmass, but Australia split up and drifted to the northeast. After breaking peninsular India, drifted to the north. The great folded mountain ranges came into existence due to the drifting of land masses. Due to the westward drifting of, uh, drift, drifting of both uh, drifting of uh, Americas, North America and South America, folding took place along their west margin and the Rockies and Andes came into existence. Similarly, equator world movement of blocks of Gondwana land folding took place in the Sea of Tethys and Himalayas and Alps came into existence. In this way, Wagner has explained the theory for the distribution of continents and oceans and origin of the folded mountain ranges 
of the word. The evidences are support to the contented theory are Wagner gathered geological, botanical, geological, geomorphological and climatological evidences in support of his continental drift theory. Some of the important evidences are like jigs of feet or geographical similarities. The coastlines of Western Europe and Western Africa on one side and Eastern coastlines of North and South America makes a jigs of feet. The coast line of North America can fit into the coast of Scandinavia and Western Europe. The northern part of North Australia fits into the Bay of Bengal. The western coast of India, islands of Madagascar and mainland of Africa were joined to each other in the past. By bringing them together, the landmass becomes continuous. These evidences led to believe that all these landmasses must have been once part of one continental block. Another evidence for the theory is geological evidence. There is geological similarities on the opposing sides of the Atlantic Ocean. The structural features of the American and African coast along the both sides of the Atlantic Ocean are same. The African Plateau, Deccan Plateau of India, Western Australia and Brazil show similarities in their geology. Then paleo, uh, paleontological evidence, Purajiv Shastriya Purava. There are similarities in the fossils of plants and animals on the opposite sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Fossils of plants, the fossils of mammals like reptile are found in a quantity in South Africa, South America and Asia and Antarctica. These evidences support that the continents were once connected with each other. Biological evidences. The migration of birds from the islands of Europe towards the west, which shows that the migration has been going on since the past. It means there was continuous landmass. Then the evidences are support to the continental trip theory is the paleo uh, climatological evidence. There are some deposits in Northeast USA and Britain which are having a cold climate. These land masses are situated at their present place due to the drifting of continent. The abundant coal deposits in Antarctica proves that the rich plant life once flourished with the hot climate on that continent which are now covered with thick ice cap. Evidence of geodesy. Greenland is gradually drifting towards the westward. 
besides these glacial evidences paleomagnetism sea floor spreading etc evidences support the continental drift theory now the criticism or main objections against the theory are the theory is unable to indicate any sound force that was responsible for the breaking up of pangaea the force suggested by him are inadequate in order to drift the continent so apart another criticism for the theory is that the theory is unable to give satisfactory explanation for the origin of mountain then another criticism is according to theory there are jigs of feats but this makes up to certain extent only inadequate explanation regarding the direction and period of continental drifting etc are the criticism against the theory is given thank you